Now for the best pot roast, whether you're gonna do it in the oven or you're gonna do it in a slow cooker, is to brown your roast first. So I got my, I have a cast iron enamel coated uh, Dutch oven here that's really hot. So you see it's smoking and I just put some, I like avocado oil in it. So I put my oil in it and it's ready to get my roast really good and brown. And you want to brown it on each side. It takes about probably seven minutes um, total. I'll flip it here in six seconds. But you want to get it brown on both sides and on the edges the best you can. I'm going to put some salt and black pepper on it. Flip it. I want to say that I forgot to coat this in flour. I usually coat this in flour before I put it in, but it's okay. I'm still going to sprinkle it with a little bit of flour on this side, and I'll flip it and do the other side. But you would want to coat it before you brown it. But it's all right. <laughs> Now I'm just going to transfer this over into my old crock pot. This was my mother-in-law's old crock pot. It's a dandy, still works, and I still use it. All right, y'all, I got my roast here in my crock pot. Now I'm going to add um, some garlic. You can do three cloves of minced garlic, fresh garlic, if you want. If you don't like a lot of garlic, just leave it off. But I like garlic, and but I'm using minced garlic which is very concentrated. So I'm just going to do about a teaspoon of that. And you're going to add in a quart of beef stock. And you want to use beef stock if you can, or broth. But I'll tell you, stock, stock is better. Stock, you're going to get more flavor. And I want to do a packet of onion soup mix. This is optional too. You can leave it out. And y'all, we just love roast. Kenzie, this is one of Kenzie's favorites. This is her ultimate uh, comfort food, I guess you could call it. <laughs> and um, you can add extra salt and pepper to taste, but I'm not going to uh, do that. I'm going to add in all of my veggies. Now this is about, you want to need about six or eight of those small red taters and just, we leave the skins on them and about two cups of chopped carrots and celery. And you're gonna just put all that in there. Now, if you wanna do this in the oven, you can. I've done it in the oven. My old video showed me doing it in the oven. But I'm busy today, so I'm just gonna put this in the crock pot and let it do its thing all day. You can cook it on low for about Six hours. I like we like ours really tender and just let it cook all day. And I forgot my onion, so I'm gonna put an onion in here. Hold on just a second. So I'm gonna show y'all right quick and use this opportunity when I forgot my onion to show you how to cut an onion. Leave the uh, root in on your onion and put it down on your board and take your knife and just go around the sides uh, keep going around and around like that and when you do that all you have to all you have to do now is just slice it off and it comes off you know you just want a rough chop so that's how I do onions. It's an easier way to do it. And you don't have time to cry like that. Now, last but not least, you're gonna add some rosemary, dried rosemary. And you're gonna need about a teaspoon or so. Y'all always, when, um, when I talk about cooking, when I measure anything, y'all know that I'm always eyeballing it. And Always adjust everything to your taste. It just because a recipe calls for a teaspoon of something, 
if you want more or less, go ahead and do it. It there's no rules, no rules. <laughs> so, and I like rosemary in uh, pot roast. I think it makes it good. And just put the lid on it and let it do its thing. And yeah. Now look at that roast, y'all. It's tender and it's so good. Now I got some of the broth out and I got it in my cooker, about two cups here. And I'm gonna bring that up to a bowl and I'm fixing to make a gravy uh, to pour back into it so it'll uh, have a little thicker gravy. So for the gravy, you want a little bit of cold water and about a tablespoon of cornstarch. And you want to stir that around until the cornstarch is dissolved. Now this is all according to how thick you want your gravy. If you want your gravy a little thicker, add some more cornstarch. And you just add that slurry right to your boiling broth. And you're just going to stir this around. And it's going to start thicken up. I'm going to make this one kind of thick because I'm going to pour it right back to the juice that's in the uh, in the crock pot. It'll thin it out some. So once that thickens up, I'm going to pour it right back into the roast. It's gravy right back on it. Alexa, stop. And oh yeah. All right, y'all. So my taste tester for this roast is the roast lover in the family. Can't wait. She loves it. It's one of her favorites. It's up there with chicken and dumplings and dressing and all that stuff. But she loves roast. Now this, to me, this is the, mm, this is a good roast. And you know, um, this is gonna be on, I already said it on page 21 of my new cookbook. And y'all, it's available on Amazon and I will be sharing the link. Yay! Yay! We're excited. We're so excited, y'all. It's got some pictures in it. Um, you know, it's got a table of content, contents. It's hard to tell, but um, some pictures of our family. And it's dedicated to my beautiful mama. And y'all, she would be proud. And this, this roast... I definitely wanted this roast in there, and, and um, but I will be sharing the link for it, and it's on Amazon. And when you get it, please put a review on the Amazon app. We would appreciate it. We need the uh, the reviews are great. We, yes. we need the reviews. The reviews it help. helps. It helps out. It helps with the algorithms on Amazon. So it's all color and it's pretty big print. It's yeah. If you're like me, you need big print. Yeah, it's hard to tell, but yeah, yeah. and. There's a few Red pictures. velvet cake and vanilla ermine frost. Yeah. So just in time for the holidays. Sneak peek. Yeah, a sneak peek. And y'all, I'm going to tell you, if you haven't picked up, Y'all Sweet Tea is in, is in Food City stores. And um, some of the Food City stores have already been selling out. Because when we were yeah. down home the other day for Mom's funeral, uh, the Whitesburg one in Whitesburg, Kentucky, of our hometown, was already sold, sold out. out. But there's a few more that still has the Y'all Sweet Tea. And y'all know... If you got roast, you're gonna have some good old uh, sweet tea, sweet and tea it's, it. it's our tea of it's our tea of choice, and it's best. it's in decaf and it's in regular and it's in half gallon sizes or gallon sizes. So uh, if you have a food city near you, go check them out, and because if you don't want to order off the website, you can just go to the food cities near you. And Something else too. Check it out. Hmm. Some other store has them, right? It's like oh, a there's a the Piggly Wiggly has yeah. it out of Alabama. I know that, but we're in Kentucky. But I think Food City is in like Kentucky, Kentucky, Virginia, North Carolina, Tennessee, um, maybe a few. I don't really know, but I do know they're in those. So, and I know a lot of our followers are in those states. Yeah. So y'all, there you go, y'all. We're excited, excited about the cookbook. Go check it out. I'll put the link to the cookbook, and I'm gonna put the link to y'all's with tea. And uh, check 
Check it out. We're excited. Thank you all for being so patient. And just tickled pink, y'all. Tickled, tickled pink. And love all yins. And thank you all for watching Mountain Cooking with Missy. Where's nothing fancy. Just good eating. Just good eating. Bye, guys.